I'm Shitani. I'm Mika. And we are here with another super fun video for you all today. If you recall our previous video, which I do highly recommend that you watch, it's a ton of fun. We tried some candy, which was sent to us by a friend in Germany. And today we've got not one, not two, but three <laughs> different types of candies that we are going to try. Isn't that right, Nika? That is correct. Are you excited? Yes. As you may see that my vision is kind of going over here a little bit, that is because that is where all of our candy is, and it looks very good. Well, I'm not going to make you wait any longer, so let's go ahead and start off with some candy that is pretty familiar to us from the good old US of A. We are starting off with candy that's probably familiar to almost everyone who's watching this video. Good old fashioned rock candy. Um, not sure if this belongs to any particular nationality as I'm fairly certain it is across the globe. It's just sugar crystallized onto a stick. What more could you ask for? It's minerals you could eat. It is. Well, there are other minerals that you can eat, especially if you are a goat. But we digress. Uh, how come you got the pink one? Because pink is a good color and I like it. It is a good color and I also like it, so I wanted that one. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see, sometimes they have coloring or flavors in them, which um, we'll just go right ahead and try these. Oh, you're chewing yours, huh? Mmm, asthma. <laughs> <laughs> well, what does yours taste like, Mika? Strawberry. And mine tastes like lime. <laughs> I'm not a super big fan of just eating rock candy. It's extremely sweet. Uh, probably, maybe we shouldn't have started off with just straight up sugar when we're going to be eating a bunch of different treats with different flavor profiles. But what I really like to do with mine is dip it into my tea and swirl it around, and that makes a great flavor. Mmm. And I like to nibble on it. Well, you are a rat. You are fond of nibbling, aren't you? Yes, I am. Next up, we have some Cadbury Dairy Milk Chocolate. Mmm, I like milk chocolate. You? Yes. I'm more of a dark chocolate fan. So, let's see how this stacks up to our tastes. Dark chocolate's always, like, dark chocolate is, for me, it's something that you add to, uh, like, a uh, something that you're baking or brewing up. Interesting. I could see that. Mmm. Yep. There's chocolate. That's milk chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Quite good. Mmm. I agree. Cadbury also makes the buns. Cadbury does have the clucking bunnies, that's true. And other critters, every once in a while. No, no. <laughs> Endangered species chocolate, caramel, sea salt, and dark chocolate. Ooh, that sounds like it's more up my alley, so I'm interested in trying this chocolate. This is endangered species chocolate. As yes. the name implies, any proceeds that are put towards the people who make these chocolates go towards animal conservation. Saving endangered species, like me. Yes, the vulnerable cheats. Oh no, as you can see, I enjoyed the last chocolate I had. <laughs> yes, you, uh, you may need to watch the previous video to get the reference. But, uh, yes, <laughs> I think we're going to be seeing a bit more of that as we continue. Here you go. Ooh, Ooh. there's some uh, caramel in there. Oh, yeah. As it said that there was. Mm. Harder than most. Mm. I like it. And I like the filling. It is caramel and sea salt. So that would be the caramel inside. And sea salt adds a nice tang to it, too. We're gonna save these for later because uh, we're all like trying candy right now, but these were sent to us by Leo Star. These are good old American Reese's. I love Reese's. Reese's peanut butter cups are so good. And I also like Reese's Pieces. 
So we could <laughs> promise you that we absolutely will eat those. Oh yeah. I'm gonna probably just devour them like a fiend. <laughs> and we are moving along to the German candies. Or German confections because not all of these are candy. Such as... Animal crackers! Animal crackers. These are so cute. Look at the animals on here are adorable. And you can actually tell what they are. Which, uh, I can't exactly say the same for some of them. <laughs> Our animal crackers over here in the state. Okay, what critters do we have in here? I think it's an elephant. Yes, this is an elephant. I got an owl! They're so cute. Let's see if their taste reflects their adorableness. Mmm! Mmm. It's a nice, mild flavor. Yeah. I like them quite a bit. This is gonna require some drinks. Is it? Well, they're soda tablets. Though, these you can just eat. Oh? I'm pretty sure you can just pop them right into your old bowl right there. Ah! Oh, these look like, uh... These look kinda like, uh... Um. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think they're going to be a little more tasty than Tums. They look like uh, American Smarties or Freeze, even. Those are candies that we're more familiar with that have that uh, sort of tablet shape. I'm going to have a purple one. Is there a color you want? Um, Give me one that's not purple so that we can have a bit of a, uh, a yep. difference. Thank it, you. It's yellow. It's yellow. Let's see. Whoa. Yeah. That one was fizzy. Just like the sodas that we tried in the last video. Now that is a strong, robust flavor. Ooh, mm. I like those. Yeah, they're quite good. What flavor was yours? I think it was great. Yeah, mine was very obviously lemon. I felt a little foam in my mouth when I was eating it, which makes sense because these are like Alka-Seltzer tablets. But candy. Yeah, they've got, I, I believe it's raspberry, lemon, uh, cola flavor, and orange. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to try the rest of those. Yes, I'm excited to try those as drinks as opposed to uh, as uh, just their tablet uh, parts. Hmm, I wonder if you can do that. What do we got there, Mika? Ritter Sport, Gibrante Mandels. Uh, <laughs> I. Isn't that that guy that hosts Steal or No Deal? <laughs> Isn't that that guy who died? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, we're funny. We're real funny right here. We're, we're, I, I'm, I'm very funny. I am hilarious. I'm so funny. I'm, I'm so funny that I can't even open it. <laughs> Look at this Davox bar looking uh, candy bar. Got nuts in there. Nuts to you. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Man, Germany knows how to make some chocolate. That is so sweet and tasty. Oh yeah. The That's nuts. got like little little cookie pieces inside. Mmm, no wonder it tastes so good. Oh yeah, that's quite enjoyable. <laughs> Great up? choice, excellent choice. Now, this next one involves a little bit of German that I actually know from a friend of mine. Uh, Liebkuchen. Now, I don't know what Lieb is in this context, but I do know that Kuchen means cake. Very good, Mika. It looks like the, uh, the candy gods want you to have more candy. <laughs> the candy I'm... gods don't know that we have a lot more candy to go through in this video. We're gonna be sick to our stomachs by the end of it. Mm -mm. I can taste the cinnamon and nutmeg and um, sort of like holiday spice in there. Oh yeah, me too. Like it, it goes very well with the chocolate and uh... It's like a chocolate bar version of a Leibkuchen. 
And the texts. Sure. <laughs> the texture is really good. The, the, the texts? Er? You're such um, a goofball. I'm sorry, there's a lot of candy here. There's so much. <laughs> well, we don't have to eat all of it if it's too much for you. Well, I want to try as much of this as I can. Okay. I remember saying that I like these candies before because these are called milk bars. And my name's Oh my god, I feel cute. You are uh, cute. Is one that you will probably like because it is strawberry. Strawberry. Shitani loves a strawberry. It's my favorite fruit. <laughs> a good choice for one. Mmm. <laughs> You know, it's funny, I could smell the strawberry flavor before it even hit my tongue. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, these are very good. We've got a bunch more milkas to go through. Such the... as this next one. These milkas. Um... Which is alpha milk. With a little milk of cow on it. I wonder if she knows the uh, laughing cow. Maybe. <laughs> I just know that this milk is particular. Uh, sorry, no. This milk chocolate is particularly interesting because it's got air in it. They're like air puffed, and it's supposed to add flavor and lightness to the chocolate. Hmm. Plain old milk chocolate. It is just plain old milk chocolate, but it's... It's similar to the Cadbury milk chocolate that we tried a while ago. Yeah. Uh, or, wait, why am I saying yeah? I haven't tried it yet. Such a do. <laughs> you know what? It... That sounds funny to say. But I can really taste the air in it. <laughs> <laughs> Chocolated air. Best things in slice. We've got one more Milka to try, which is Oreo. Or Oreo sandwich, as they need to specify, apparently. <laughs> well, I like Oreos and I like Milka, so let's see how they do when combined. Us rats, we're good at getting into packages that we're, met, uh, that we're being kept out of. <laughs> Especially when those packages contain sweets. Well, the reason I brought you along, you know. <laughs> okay, well, first of all, have a look. It literally has Oreos in it. It's like a little mini Oreo. You just stuck it right in there in the chocolate. Mmm. You can hear that Oreo crunch. Oh, that's just straight up an Oreo with some chocolate around it. Mm -hmm. Can't really beat that. Mmm. Very good. Okay. Which milk do you think was your favorite out of the three that we tried? Oreos. Oreos? Uh, I don't know. There's something about that strawberry milk that just really calls to me. There's a lot of different types of milk of chocolate in Germany. I wonder how many more we'll get to try. Next up, we got something that sounds familiar, but isn't quite the same here in the States. We have Smarties. <laughs> now, in the United States, Smarties candy is a thing. However, the Smarties over here are very different than the Smarties elsewhere in the world. The Smarties here are really flippin' boring. Okay. It's like, um... It's chocolate with a molted candy shell. Tastes similar to something that I've had before, but I can't really place right now. Yeah, these are completely different from, like, the Smarties we have. Oh yeah, our Smarties are not chocolate at all. Wait, these look like... These kind of have like an M&M's kind of feel to it. I guess that is what I'm thinking of. Just a bigger M&M. Do they have different 
flavor? Do the color? I don't think the colors have different flavors. I think they're like M and M's. They're all just like. Yeah, this is kind of a large M and M. Super M and M's. We have another familiar appearance from a favorite. Nuppers. The new Snaggle. <laughs> These are interesting because they've got some, uh, I'm assuming these are football players, soccer players on here, and they're wishing us a happy, uh, Christmas using a pun on the word ball. Well, in any case, I know that the offers will be very delicious because we had some of those in our last candy tasting video. They're honestly my personal favorites. I will try to go easy on them. <laughs> we are going to move over to the Canadian candies. Yes. It's Coffee Crisp. I like coffee. I like things that are crispy. So... It stands to reason that this is probably going to be good. Coffee Crisp, I think, has a bit of a name for itself in the uh, in the community. Folks are always asking their friends who travel to Canada to bring Coffee Crisp back. So I think its reputation precedes it. I'm excited to finally see what all the Coffee Crisp fuss is about. Okay, this is very crummy. Um, <laughs> not in a, this is bad way, in a literally very crummy. Yeah, kind of like a Butterfinger, huh? Yeah. Cheetah the cheetah, please. Oh. It's like feeding... Watch out, I almost took your fingers off. <laughs> it's like feeding you meat cubes. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. Wow. Ooh. Oh, wow. I was kind of on the nose with the... Butterfinger comparison, but I can taste the coffee flavor. Oh, it's a nice combination, wouldn't you say? Normally things that taste like coffee, I don't like that much, but this is like a really slightly smoky, roasty flavor that you would be expected from something like a coffee bean, while also mixing very well with chocolate which coffee obviously does very well. Yeah, it goes great with the other aspects of the bar. I'd say, well, I can see why folks like it so much. Breaking a piece off for Shitani, I made a little bit of a mess. That is something I'm going to have to clean up. <laughs> we have more Smarties. These are Canadian Smarties. Whether they will be different from German Smarties or American Smarties, let's find out. They feel like they're smaller than the other ones we tried, so I wonder if these are just going to be like a slightly different M&M's. Maybe these are the M&M's minis to the Smarties M&M's. Hmm, it's a possibility to be sure. I like the M&M's minis. I, uh, they come in this tube. Yeah, they're like really, really small. You could like add them to a cupcake if you wanted to. Oh yeah, it's a little tiny Smarties. They're a bit flatter than an M&M, which honestly is the only difference that I notice. I'm sure there are, you know, recipe differences between the two candies and the two chocolates, which would be proprietary, but all in all, uh, I'd say it's like a different version of an M&M, which is a candy that we're more familiar with. Yes. Speaking of M&Ms, we got something else from the company that makes them. Mars? Mars. Mars bar. Now, I don't know if this is exactly Canada exclusive because as far as I know in the States we got these two, but we will try it anyway because I don't think I've ever had a Mars bar. I haven't either. I am noticing that the package makes sure to mention that they are peanut free, which is good to know. Very good to know indeed. I have a friend who is allergic to peanuts. I have relatives who are allergic to peanuts. You wouldn't think a cheetah would be allergic to peanuts, but hey, you learn something new every day. Ooh, well, that, first of all, I did not know Mars bars looked like this. 
Ooh, that looks decadent. <laughs> I definitely bit your fingers on that one. <laughs> I taste rat. <laughs> okay. We got some chocolate. Got some caramel. There's another bar here in the States that this reminds me a lot of. Um, because it's pretty much the same exact thing. Uh, it's got nougat, it's got caramel. Tastes like a Milky Way. No. You know, it's a shame that they can only get them from Mars. That's why they're so rare. And I guess there's a direct pipeline from Mars to Canada. They don't talk about it too much. They don't want you to know. Now this bar has a bit of life advice for us, doesn't it? Eat more. I'm not gonna let it tell me twice. It's a dark toffee peanut chew. Whoa. So I, this is where the peanuts from the Mars bar went. I'm normally not a fan of peanuts, but you know, ooh, this looks, it looks wet. <laughs> huh. I wonder if they're supposed to be like that. Hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa. Um. That's got some properties right there. I'll tell you what. Uh, I will be sure to try some of that at a later date. So Mika, what do you think of the Eat More? Peanut butter, nuts, coffee, sticky, sweet, good. She says it's good, folks. The rat approves of the Eat More. It seems that Canada is very creative with its candy names, as this one is called Crispy Crunch. Though maybe I shouldn't blame Canada because uh, this one is from Cadbury, and we've had some Cadbury before. From the packaging, it looks like it is kind of similar to, again, a Butterfinger, but we'll see what we got. They aren't kidding when they say Crispy Crunch. This is <laughs> very crunchy. Ooh, interesting, interesting. Mmm, flaky. I enjoy the nut flavor. There's definitely toffee in this. It does contain toffee. So watch your tooth fill in it. Oh yes. Um, <laughs> oh, it's getting in there. <laughs> for all you tool fans out there, we got Maynard's Wine Gums. <laughs> you know, I thought of that when I saw these. I highly doubt there's actual wine in here. But it is actually made by tool lead vocalist Maynard James Keith. No, yes, yeah, he, make, he makes them himself in his underground lair. I like gummy candies. I like gummies too. They are, in fact, my favorite kind of candy. Hint, hint. What flavors do we have here? Um, oh, we've got, like, shades. This is interesting. This is a red... Uh, oh, it just says Maynard. Mine is orange. Mmm. Okay. And the count of three. See what it reminds you of. One, two, three. Swedish, Swedish fish. fish. <laughs> I guess Canadian wine gummy is the equivalent to Swedish fish. I don't know. Its flavor is definitely different from Swedish fish. Mm -hmm. But the opening texture. Like when you first like bite into it, it's got that resistance that Swedish fish has as far as a gummy does. Yeah, and it's got that kind of, I don't know how else to describe it, but it's got a kind of dusty taste that Swedish fish have. And it's very fruity though. Like, it is. It, much more fruity than a Swedish fish. Admittedly, I tried a red one, which Swedish fish are red, but I'm wondering what the other colors will taste like. So I'm interested in trying some more of Maynard's wine gummies. Yes, I thought we were done with the German ones because we got here a Wonder Bar. Wonder Bar. This is though from the Canadian candies pile, so. And it's got a little Viking helmet on it. Uh, seems weird, but sure. You know what? Why not? How wonderful is the bar? 
peanut butter, caramel. Yeah, that's what I taste. Peanut butter and caramel. Oh. Good. It's good. If you like that, like, and I've never been crazy about peanut butter, but I'm also trying to be fair here because a lot of people are into peanut butter. So, I think if you like peanut butter and you like caramel, you're gonna like a Wonder Bar. And same thing goes for the Eat More. Though I will say the Eat More is definitely on the sticky side. So make sure to bring your napkins and uh, hand wipes when you are eating more of eat more. We have tried all the candy. We've tried them all. And which do you like the best? Oh my god, that's... There were so many different kinds of chocolate that, like, I feel like I should give, like, my favorite chocolate as opposed to, like, my favorite candy because my favorite candy is probably going to be the Maynards. Mm -hmm. I... I just... I like fruity gummies. They're my favorite kind of candy hands down. So those Maynard gummies just shot right to the top for you, huh? Yeah, they just kind of go, like, by default top of the list. But, oh man, like, the Alpen milk has a nice, like, flavor, but then again, it doesn't have too much that separates it from regular chocolate. The Cadbury chocolate, that's right. The, uh, oh, but the strawberry flavored milk is so good. Those are good. I think those might be my favorite out of this batch. And you know what? I'm thinking the Oreos will be mine. Mm -hmm. The coffee crisp is really good, too. Yes. And you know, I think it's kind of, it's less flashy than some of the other treats that we tried, but I really liked the Leibniz Zoo Animal Crackers. They're just like a classic snack, and you really can't go wrong with them. No, you can't go wrong at all. These are delicious, and I just want to give, like, my heartfelt thanks to all three of the folks who sent us this pile of candy. Yes, thank you so much to Zenomnia, Sloppy, and Neostar for sending us the delectable treats that we tried in this video. I want to give a little bit of an extra thank you to Zenomnia because I do believe I personally asked her to send me more candy. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and she certainly followed suit. If you have any special or unique or weird or interesting treats from your part of the world that you would like to see us try, you are more than welcome to contact me off of YouTube and we will set up the facilitation to make that happen. Uh, we also had different treats that we were not able to try on camera but we will make sure to do those afterwards, and we greatly appreciate them. Indeed we do. Man, you know, some of those Canadian treats really were tasty. I wonder if we're gonna get a chance to try more Canadian food sooner rather than later. Oh, if we perhaps found ourselves in a little place called Toronto. Huh, I wonder what might cause us to do that. Well, You'll just have to keep watching to find out, won't we? Mm, indeed. Indeed, indeed. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. Thank you again so much for watching. Yes, thank you so much for everyone who sent this to us. I'm Chitani. I'm Mika. And hey, have a great rest of your day. See you next time. See ya! Mm -hmm.